SVR Forum's Super Bowl coverage is sponsored by DraftKings. Welcome to SVR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. Well, this is our uh, official final coverage of Super Bowl 47 here at SVR Forum Videos. We've got returning guests Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com and Jeff Cadillac from JeffCadillac.com. You're probably familiar with both of them returning. Thanks, guys, for being back with us once again. Thanks a lot, Pete. You know, me and Jeff last week, we were both on the same side, but a 2-0 card. Unfortunate, yeah. probably some of those people have pushed on the 49ers at four, but nonetheless, it looked like 2-0 for me and Jeff Cadillac last well, week. Before we get into uh, covering the uh, the side and the total, uh, each of you plug your website. Jeff, we'll start with you. Just tell us a little bit about JeffCadillac.com quickly. Okay, JeffCadillac.com. I analyze all the NFL games all season long. I post my picks, and it's all free. Absolutely. So, it's free viewing, and uh, if you like them, hey, you like what you like, and uh, discard what you don't like. Okay, Troy West, all of our regular viewers are very familiar with you, and uh, at this point uh, know how great you've been in our videos all year long. Tell us quickly about AllPlaysWin.com, your website. AllPlaysWin.com has been in business now for almost six years. I work very closely with about six handicappers. Adam Rototo is kind of my right-hand guy, and B.J. Brown's another handicapper that works real close. And, we cover all sports from hockey to tennis to college basketball, NBA, NFL, you name it. We've done a lot of these videos. We've been hot in all sports, and I'm hoping I can continue to give you guys good stuff throughout the year. Well, here you go. You have Jeff Cadillac does only NFL. Troy West does everything. Both of them, though, giving us great picks. Both of them agreed with each other last week, and again, we're right 2-0 uh, against the spread. All right, let's start with the numbers uh, in this one. Let's start with the total, actually, if you don't mind. I'd like to start with the total, and the reason I want to start with the total is because it's the one line that, it's a line that, that strikes me as, as a little bit off. I was surprised that it's as low as it is. It's 47 and a half juice to the under. It opened at like 50 or 51 at in both in Vegas and offshore and that's more where I would have expected it to be but it's gotten bet down since then and apparently that's sharp action betting this one down uh, let's start with you Troy because I know that uh, previously you told me that you had a strong opinion on the total you like the over just like I do you no know, I actually really like the under in this game really? I, I just you know the way that Ravens defense is playing right now it's been absolutely lights out the whole New England to 13 points is just absolutely phenomenal whole of Tom Brady style offense that had been clicking for the last few weeks. 13 points, fantastic. I think the 49ers, they have the capability of scoring for points, but I don't think Colin Kaepernick has seen a defense like the Ravens for a while. He's got kind of lucky with the Atlanta Falcons who don't really bring much of a rush. Green Bay couldn't really bring much of a rush. He hasn't really seen a whole lot. And when you see, if you look at the games where he has seen good defenses like Seattle and whatnot, he struggled a bit. So I think both teams are going to struggle a bit. San Francisco's defense is phenomenal as well. I think you're looking at two teams that got to stick to the run game as much as they can to avoid turnovers. Both quarterbacks prone to throw the ball down the field, interceptions, a little more. I like the under. I think 47 and a half is a lot. I think both teams could be in the teens in this one. And we'll talk about the spread a little bit later, but I just don't see both teams hitting the mid 20s in this game at all. I don't think either team gets mid 20s. I like under 47 and a half. Let me play devil's advocate here for a second, though. I mean, Joe Flacco's playing great, right? Everyone's talking about that. Eight touchdowns, no interceptions. You know, when he's playing well, he he can really, uh, you know, he has a great arm. He's just a little bit inconsistent and mistake prone during the regular season, and that's what has kept him from being a elite quarterback. But when he's playing well, he's got one of the strongest arms in the NFL. Ray Rice obviously is awesome. Kaepernick, we know about him. You know, the Ravens did not play well against mobile quarterbacks during the regular season and they didn't play that well on defense in general during the regular season for most of the time you know it's funny i had actually had a client ask me about that today when i was giving him the pick and i okay. said you know what i don't care what the ravens did in week five or week six i care what they did last sure. week and held probably the most explosive offense in the nfl to 13 points i think that says a lot i don't think the 49er offense is anywhere near what tom brady puts out on the field and I just don't think Colin Kaepernick is going to be able to throw on this Ravens defense. I think if the, any way the 49ers move the ball consistently, it's going to be on the ground. And I don't see them pouring in a whole lot of touchdowns. I see them having to settle for three quite a bit. You've seen what their field goal kicking game's been. That takes away points right there. I just think it's an under game. I really do. I think Joe Flacco's done a pretty good job. His passing looked phenomenal against the Patriots. But 49ers secondary brings a lot more to the table than what New England did. So I think they're going to have a good game plan. you got to remember, two weeks to prep for this as well. 
I think the defense has come out hot in both teams under in this one. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, let's go to Jeff Cadillac from jeffcadillac.com to see what he has to say about the total. I mean, in general, betting on the under in the Super Bowl is usually a, a, a good thing to do as opposed to betting on the over. It's just this game, when I look at the matchups, it makes me think that, uh, you know, we're start going to start to see, maybe it'll start off slowly, but that, you know, especially if it's like after 3 nothing after the first quarter, maybe you want to bet an over on the, uh, on the live, uh, live total. What do you think, Jeff Cadillac? What do you make of 47 and a half? Uh, I think I have to agree with Troy on this one. I really? like the under as well. I uh, definitely think that uh, the defense for the Ravens is a very tough defense. Um, again, last week they did they did hold uh, you know Brady to 13 points, and uh, a lot of times it looked like you know they they stopped him in his tracks. Um, Colin Kaepernick, I happen to think he's going to have a good game uh, against the Ravens, but we'll you know I'll get into that more when we talk about the spread. But concerning the over-under, I definitely like the under in this. I think it's going to be a very tight game. I think it's only going to be maybe, you know, by, you know, a few points here and there. Uh, people are going to be biting their nails, you know, with the spread a little bit. But I definitely like the under. 47 and a half, I think, is a little bit high. And um, concerning the two teams, the defense on, on, you know, a lot of people don't give credit to the San Francisco defense. And they don't let up a lot of points. They let up a lot of points against Seattle. But that was, you know, one game. So, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to a tight game, and I'm definitely agreeing with Troy on this. I like the under as well. All right, well, there you have it, folks. I'm leaning towards the uh, over. Jeff Cadillac, Troy West, and all the early sharp action is leaning towards the under. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. Thanks, guys. Let's move on to the spread.